Hi guys, I've um, I've been using a script for some time, some weeks now, and I was going to answer somebody on Telegram, and I did a search on our YouTube channel, and it's not that, right? Remember the word tohl, to tohl, look it up if in your own language what it means. Tohl Arkelnix repo, tohl Arkelnix test repo, and tohl chaotic repo. These are are things that we always use and as user what's interesting for you is the total chaotic repo so the beta testers need to sometimes get into the test repo and that's fine just a script away as simple as that so the pacman.conf is a configuration for your package manager hence the name pacman let's wait for it voila and then color is always better than no color so we've got here the lines of Arconix repo, the repo of Arch, extra testing, watch out, belt loop testing, watch out, and chaotic AOR, but it's not used, it's gray. So sometimes I have the reflex, and so should you, somebody on Discord is, at this point in time, if you don't, if you can't build it, if you don't find it, right, always think, where can I find it? Maybe it's on, there you go, Celtic repo. And all you do is this. And if the script is running perfectly, and it should, then suddenly you have a new shop. Basically, it's a shop. When you update things, you have 1.768 kilobyte of information coming from the Celtic AOR. That's its database. Look at the other numbers. Kilobytes, kilobytes, 46, 149, 1768. I mean, 1768. I mean, right? 4,000 packages on the KLTK OR. Maybe the one you want is on there. Working very well. And the rebuild from AOR isn't working. But the KLTK AOR package is working. So it's worth a look if that's okay. If it's working on that end. And my advice to you is run it again afterwards. Say Tohl Celtic Repo back off and stay strict to, again, Arch and Arco, right? Get it, get in, get out. That's basically the message I want to give you. Celtic AOR, never put it at the top, put it at the bottom. So the, the first one will always win and you'll be safe that way. All right? So that's the one I would recommend. There are other things. And that's more for the beta testers. That's just a quick Arconix test repo, as you see. Sometimes I say it's in the test repo, go check it. And now it's active. And then you update and you get the update in, but that's nothing for a user, right? That's just for the beta testers, back out. And the other one is the Arconix repo. Completely, we overwrite completely the backman.conf. That's maybe tricky, so this is not for you. But have a look what we do. Oh, uh, Tohl, of course. Tohl, Arclix, repo. And everything is overwritten. It's basically, you see it here, user local share Arclix Pacman no Arco config uh, to etc Pacman conf. So there is no mention in here of Arclix. This is now pure arch. And if we toggle it again, it's back in. Arconix is back in and everything is in, but not Celtic AOR. If you go back for the toggle of Celtic AOR, he's smart enough to add the lines at the end or just hide it at the end. All right, so remember the word toggle, maybe it can be of use certainly for the Celtic AOR or Celtic repo, or just the same thing, AOR. And um, this is all scripting, you know me. But there is the ATT. <laughs> if you want to go a long way, you launch the ATT, Arch Link Tweak Tool, go to Pacman, and you activate the Celtics repo. Right? That's the one with 4,000 packages. There's also the Garuda repo, Reborn OS, Endeavor, and Nemesis to activate here. Right? Off it is again. Get in, get out. That's my advice. Cheers.